Hi all and welcome. Okay, today I want to demonstrate my latest finished project. Um, original design by Zach of Lab Coats. A shout out to Zach, thank you. Okay, so the first thing we've got here is a QCW DRSSTC. That's a quasi continuous wave dual resonant solid state Tesla coil. So what we've got here is the control unit um, we have ooh, let's get it into focus a bit that's better okay so we've got controls for the BPS controls for the frequency uh, the low voltage circuitry in here now I did a couple of alterations to Zach's original design the gate drive transformer what we've got here he designed it with eight turns of primary and 12 turns on the secondaries so i've put 12 turns on the primary and secondaries um which seem to work quite well so that's one slight alteration i've done the other one is I don't know if you can see it, it's a bit dark the main bridge rectifier which is just yeah, let's see if i can get around this side wait a minute there we go that's a bit of view okay so there it is and that is a 50 amp 1000 volt ridge rectifier um i just thought it would be a little bit more powerful uh and it works okay so we've got a little fan on top cooling the uh, mosfets which are the ir fps 260 ns um a very small uh resonant capacitor bank of 30 nanofarads and then we have a power supply here for the fan and a 12 volt transformer to power up the low voltage circuitry. Uh, the little wire sticking out the top there that you can see is the antenna for the feedback. Moving on, <laughs> moving on, moving around. Sorry about all the wiring. This is only in the uh, test setup mode. We have the main coil itself. So what we've got here is the primary coil. And there's six turns of just some wire I pulled out of um, a power cord. It's a 0.75 mil cross-sectional area. And that's about six turns around a five inch diameter plastic tube. The secondary is a five inch tall uh, secondary wrapped with 34 gauge magnet wire and that's wound on a 3 inch by 6 inch white plastic tube uh, PVC white PVC the top load is 2 inches by 8 inches across um, aluminium toroid and of course my famous output terminal, which is a soldering iron tip. Wouldn't be without it. Right, floating above, I can't show you this really because you have to take my word for it, I can't hold the camera. Uh, floating above is a ball, and the distance between the ball and where is it? The breakout point is 25 millimeters. Uh, millimeters inches 25 inches okay and as you'll see the sparks are hitting that which makes that little bad boy well means that little bad boy is punching out sparks five times bigger than the coil itself so that's not bad at all okay let's fire it up and see what happens just come away from it Now on the initial turn on, or power up as I say, the low voltage circuitry comes into operation. It's always best to have that starting up before the main supply is switched on. Because sometimes if they're switched on together, the switches, the um, high power switches might be in the wrong setting and you might blow them up. So let's see what happens. And initial firing up 
I don't think there's any need to switch the light off because the bright arcs are quite bright. Let's go. As you can see, they're hitting the ball and that is 25 inches away, five times the length of the secondary coil. That ain't bad. Let's build it up a little bit. Actually, I don't know what we will do. Let's turn the light off because it looks prettier. There we go. Let's get back in position. Okay. A little bit, stay in focus. Bring it up a bit. There. Let's turn it down a minute. Let's turn the light back on. Not quite sure what happened there. I have a funny feeling something popped. I think the fuse went. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so it killed the fuse in the plug. Typical. <laughs> I think it drew, drew a few too many amps there. Okay, it is, it is only a 13 amp plug. Um, but you get, the, uh, you get the idea. Okay, so. I've got a little game. Let's make, have a little bit of fun here. I am, well, I have two spare boards. Now, these boards I got them manufactured, designed by Zach of Lab Coats. Okay, now I am going to give away two of these boards, but you're going to have to work for them. <laughs> okay, now somewhere in my site you'll find my email address. Okay, and I want you to answer a question. The question is a test question, and it is In what year did Tesla commence investigating wireless transmission? Okay, now the first couple of people are who send me the right answer to that question via my email gets the boards if you want them. Okay. That's all for now, folks. I'll catch you again later. Bye.